Good morning, my wonderful, lovely subscribers, you glistening little diamonds, you. I am so <laughs> overwhelmed right now. Uh, I went to go look at my uh, poll that I had up for, after I, I put my calendar up for the week, and I was like, let me see what everybody wants to see this week, and you guys are just like, tip Tuesday, tip Tuesday, tip Tuesday, and um, Oh my, thank you. I, I love giving you guys tips and I I love creating tips and I'm getting ready to kit up this lovely canvas for my members. It's Member Monday, but I just had to pause for a moment and just say thank you that you all are so excited about Tip Tuesday. And I have a good one for you tomorrow, I think. Anyway, if you're a person that gets overwhelmed the way that I do, and if you are a person that can't have too many distractions around them, even though you love all the pretty things, I love all the pretty things. I love all the pretty cover minders, and I love all the gorgeous washi tape, and I love, you know, uh, even the pens sometimes, you know. Um, I love all those glistening points of light that go on on our diamond painters, <laughs> on our diamond paintings. Somebody is texting me. Sorry about that. And um, I love it, but I have to keep my mind focused because I can meander, as you all know. And anything I'm looking at right now is this, this is not bedhead. I was out to dinner last night. I wore my hair real high, <laughs> 80 style, hairspray and all. Here we go. Here's my tip for Tuesday. So, I, like I said, I love all the things and one of the things that I am mostly distracted by when it comes to diamond painting is my washi tape. So washi tape, I love it and I hate it. <clears throat> so there's something else about my canvas that bothers me. If I were to tell you that you have your own washi tape on a canvas when it comes to you, it's already there. You already have a liner. What is she talking about? Well, this is something else that bothers me. This overflow of this film. You know, lifting it up, you know, I, I, I just get really, <laughs> I get easily distracted and easily annoyed. I can't even remember why it was bothering me. It just was. I just don't like anything that's like an overflow and I ended up cutting this strip off and when I cut it I cut it up to the glue line now there's no glue that is transferring beyond this line here okay so this border around my canvas is a glue line so you need to have washi tape because if not you're gonna get stuck to it you're gonna lean on it you're gonna you're gonna pull the washi tape up this is the dilemma that I was having so I took my ruler out and we'll discuss this ruler at another time. This is another tip. And I said, you know, I really don't, I'm gonna cut this off here. And I'm going to, I'm looking at it backwards because I'm, I'm dyslexic and that's hard enough. <laughs> but I'm going to take, um, I'm going to use my ruler as my guide to cut a straight line a little bit beyond this glue. I'm not gonna take it all the way off. And when I cut the strip off, I have this long strip now that I don't need of excess, um, what do you call it? I call it cellophane, because it reminds me of how we used to make Easter baskets and we would use that cellophane. And I thought, well, what am I gonna do with this now? Like again, being a crafter that I am, and a long time crafter, everything is usable. You know, we, we kind of like, you know, if it, there's a million things that I could do with this strip that I'm going to cut off being a crafter because I don't do just diamond painting. I do just a diamond painting here. I do other crafts with my um, members. I'm looking at this piece that I cut off and I'm gonna do it for you. I'm just not gonna talk through it. Uh, you have a nice laser cut edge here. So this is the edge once I cut it off that I'm gonna use as a strip of washi tape and I'm gonna put it right along this edge and not only am I gonna get a washi tape, washi tape, I'm saying that with air quotes, that's going to cover my glue line and not just sit here and do nothing, right? I'm not gonna put it to work. You're not really doing anything for me here. You're just like maybe a way for me to pick it up. 
but it's going to be not only covering my glue strip, but it's also gonna be a laser cut straight edge that I'm going to put on the inside. I'm not gonna put the, in, the part that I cut along the edge. I'm gonna put this nice straight laser cut that the company did for me up against that edge. And it's gonna be a nice straight line for all my drills that come along this edge, okay? So I hope I didn't confuse you too much because I try and use my words very sparingly, but I tend to meander, as I said earlier. So I'm going to get this on my desk and I'm going to roll tape. And then what I will do is I will go back and I'll do like a little voiceover to show you exactly what I'm doing. But because I need to concentrate, because I get easily distracted and everything else, um, I don't want to have to be talking to you and doing this. So let's get to it, shall we? Before you get started, peel back your film so that your canvas is nice and flat. I'm going to use that big ruler that you just saw me out with earlier. And I'm just going to uh, put it underneath, smooth it out, gets all the air bubbles out. I can go pretty far, especially if I tuck it right underneath like I'm doing there and just letting it glide. Okay, I'm going to get that same ruler, smoothing out the film, and I'm going to place it on the bottom. I'm going to give myself a, maybe about um, a half an inch away from the border. I'm going to washi tape that ruler down so that it stays secure. And then I'm going to get my scissors and just glide it right along the edge and cut that strip off. just measuring to see how much I want to take off. I really love this ruler and I'll introduce that at another time at another tip Tuesday um, maybe next week because I use it a lot for a lot of different things when it comes to diamond painting. Okay so I'm happy right there and here's what I like using my washi tape for. <laughs> it will hold down my ruler so it doesn't move when I'm cutting and it'll keep it securely in place. Perfect. I just indicated that I'm going to cut up to the ruler um, and I'm gonna leave that strip that's on the side so that I use that for the next part of the canvas that strip belongs to the other side i'm able to get a crisp edge when i bend the film up to make a crease along the edge of the ruler and i'm just gonna you know get my bearings there it is see-through so it's transparent and i'm just gonna once i get the scissor right along the edge I, i'm just gonna glide it right right down it's pretty simple Pretty simple, I'm gonna pick up the ruler, comes right off with the washi tape, move over to the next side and continue that cut line.
Okay, now I still have a little bit of an edge here, so I could still grab my painting. You know, I could still grab it up, but I'm going to use that straight edge, not the edge that I cut, the opposite edge to place this down along. This is the cut edge. You can see it's kind of jaggedy. You can't really see it. It's kind of jaggedy, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, scissor cut. But you're gonna use the straight edge. So I'm gonna put that down so I know and put it here. I'm gonna peel this back. And I'm going to put my straight edge back down right along that glue line. Am I on, am I on it? Yeah. And I have a piece of invisible invisible an invisible line I have an invisible line of washi tape covering my glue line and giving me a nice straight edge for those drills and there you go you don't even see it but it's there and so when you go to pull this back and you're working you have yourself covered that's my tip for Tuesday kids I hope you like it. Um, continue to paint with passion, as it says here, <laughs> on my beautiful, chosen by Dreamer Designs. Gorgeous, I love it. And thank you guys for voting for Tip Tuesday. I'm just so excited because I love my tips and, and I love being able to give you guys tips. And Please join me on Sunday for Big Magic. And the reason why I am promoting Big Magic is because I read the first few pages on Sunday, September the 14th, and there was um, just, there was just like, um, Elizabeth Gilbert was talking about fear and creativity. And when I jumped into this medium of diamond painting, I thought, well, what would I have to offer here if I want to start a channel? There are so many great diamond painters out there. They've been doing this longer than I've been doing it. They have thousands of followers. What can I offer? Well, that was my fear talking. And if you talk like that to yourself, you're going to love Big Magic because Elizabeth Gilbert has a hilarious solution. Fear and creativity are like a yin and a yang. They go hand in hand, like most things. There's a yin and a yang to everything. Anything that has energy in this world has a negative and a positive. And so if you want to get out of that negative thinking and you want to think that you want to have your creativity take a front seat in the car ride of your journey and putting fear in the back seat where it belongs, yeah, fear, you're going to come along with me but you're not gonna to touch the air conditioner, you're not gonna to touch the radio, and you sure as hell are not gonna drive, as Elizabeth Gilbert puts it. So if that's ringing a bell with you, please join us on Self Care Sunday. I think you're really gonna enjoy big magic. And as always, I will see you in the next one.